right, you guys, welcome to my channel, Chrissy's Walking Beauty. So today we are going to do this really dark, smoky, but shiny glitz glam eye. I would call this like a birthday eye. Um, maybe even a New Year's eye. I'm not sure if it is, you know, qualified, but this eye though. Um, and of course, keeping in theme with the month, we are using the Tasha Neutrals palette uh, from Tati Beauty Volume 1. And yeah, I intended this video to be something completely different, but this was a look, so I had to just make it a tutorial, okay? So I hope that you guys enjoy it and, you know, get something out of it, all right? And if you guys recreate these looks, please tag me on my Instagram, Chrissy's Walk in Beauty. You know, just put in Chrissy's Walk in Beauty and, you know, tag me in the photo so I can see the looks that you guys are coming up with as well, okay? All right, so here's the video. Okay, so we're gonna start out with me moisturizing my face with this Almond Milk Moisturizing Serum. It is oil based and I do have oily skin but right now I'm trying out a whole bunch of different like products and different things to see about minimizing that oil and I'm going in with the 24 karat gold hydrating serum and it's super sticky you guys I thought that was an interesting note and it does make my feel, skin feel more moisturized. And now I'm taking this Too Faced um, face primer and using it for my eyes. I like doing that because it really definitely sets in the shadows. Now I'm taking black, which is memory and matte. And I'm going to place that all over my lid. And I'm just going to try to concentrate it in this, you know, eye shape that I got going on here. And once I got it to the concentrated concentration that I wanted, I take a clean blending brush and blend that out. And now I'm taking another blending brush and I'm going in to soothe and matte and I'm gonna blend that out now I am going in with my finger in memory and sequin and I'm going to tap that all over my mobile lid you guys see that glitter it is awesome and it reflects so nicely on my eyelid and I use my finger because when you use a brush with the sequent shadows in this palette, it's almost like the shimmer falls away. But if you use your finger, it adheres, it pops, and you can see it. Like, my camera did this no justice. Now I'm going into the metallic in memory, and I'm just taking that in my inner tear duct, and it is not your normal bright inner tear duct color but I figured I'd try it out and now I'm just blending with a clean blending brush in the crease and just trying to get that out some more now I'm taking the glitter in memory and I am patting that from the inside and kind of working my way up and out and I just kind of wanted to get this in here and I didn't know how concentrated I wanted the glitter initially, but then when I went in for the second round, I was like, yes, you see this just shine. It is so, just so pretty. And I'm going back in with the matte in memory to define that outer corner a little bit more. And yeah, and then I'm gonna blend that out with a clean blending brush as well it faded out just a little bit in 
all the shine and shimmer so I have to go back in and now I'm just blending now I'm gonna get some liner which I'm not even gonna lie you guys I end up just going back over the liner with more memory in matte and just smoking that outer corner out more so this was like a pointless task now I am going to try out this really cool technique that I seen Jackie Ina do and I'm taking my translucent powder and I am pressing that in on top of my um, primers and I am just you know taking it in damp beauty blender and I'm not gonna lie like it blurred like all the discoloration that's on my face it sucked all that like shine that I'll normally have out like I was I was excited I think I'm definitely gonna try this more in the future took my regular drugstore foundation and just going in and getting that all over now I will say that I kind of felt like I needed just a little bit more product because it was very dry but when I blended this out with my beauty blender oh my goodness I don't think I've ever seen this foundation look this full coverage or as silky smooth and just it was way more flawless like that powder powdering your skin first method I saw the difference right here and I just couldn't believe it it was it was amazing to me and I was very impressed so now I'm going in with the concealer or actually this is a foundation color and but I'm using it as a highlight today so I'm just gonna put that in there and I'm gonna also try out this whole letting it set thing and while I do that and let it set I'm gonna do my eyebrows BAM eyebrows done now I'm blending that out and I probably let it set for a good five minutes um, and no lie doing that alone definitely made it blend out better like when I tell you it just it did everything it was supposed to do and no lie you guys you know for those who don't know I am a professional makeup artist I have done makeup for I think about six or seven years now and I've had some pretty decent work and reputable work and I mean I could have used this these ideas way back in the day because that would have elevated what I was doing because man I see the drastic difference on camera it looks relatively similar to anything else I would have done and now I'm powdering my face if you can't tell contouring and bronzing as well but I see it like on camera I think it looks similar if not the same as what I would have normally done but in person the difference is like I see the difference and that blurring effect with powdering first is definitely a game changer like if nothing else that was a game changer so I would definitely recommend that for anybody who just is really looking for that extra oomph in their foundation and in their skin prep and moisturizing is definitely key because it will dry you out if you already have dry skin or even if you have oily skin if you don't moisturize properly this process I could definitely see dry you out and you guys I took the metallic color back in into under my eyes and then I also um, got memory in matte and I smoked that out a little bit on the edges as well I thought that, that would be a nice little touch and it definitely helped even further elevate this look 
I, oh my gosh, at this point, I am feeling it. I am feeling it. I am feeling it. Like, I'm just going around in the edges and I'm just pretty much blowing it all out by blending and blending. And at this point, I had noticed that the wing wasn't working, so I had went in and did that. And with this, I just wanted the most nude, neutral look lip as possible so I went with the brown and these I realized that these um liquid lipsticks that I got on Amazon are actually dupes of like the Kat Von D or at least the bottle looks very Kat Von D-esque but this is the brown color that they have in there I'll have that in the link in the description bar it's bootleg but it's cute though and it's not super drying either so I like that and so that brown is really cute and I took this peach nude also and put that in the center because I wanted it to be very cute and neutral and just you know my everyday beautiful lip all right you guys so pretty much this is the look and it is a look like it looks kind of wet kind of juicy kind of like dang dang like for real like i want to look at it so bad that i can't even like look away from it like this is bomb a banger bomb and i like this new lip with it but i have been feeling glossy lips for real for real and i, I gotta make it glossy i, I have to take my little drugstore max glossy lip gloss and i'm just gonna take that right over it because i mean my eyes are glossy my lips need to be glossy too y'all i'm so excited about this eyeshadow i didn't put no blush on or highlight and you know what i think i think that i might only just put on highlight i don't know let's see let's see you guys because you know i'm out here i'm gonna use max soft and gentle and we're just gonna we're going in yes yes i did i like strobe okay so now that i've done that i mean it's a new look, but I need some blush. I like blush. Give me a look. To keep in with the new theme, I'm going to, or not new, but like my lips are kind of peachy. I'm going to go into this peach and just marry that in here. guys i hope that you enjoyed this look this video this makeup okay um uh, please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys very soon